crime scene photos. I think people are just so numb to it that they kind of tune out. Proof that young African American men age 15 to 34 years old are dying. People that hear this should say, well, okay, what can I do? What haven't I been doing? Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone says it starts by looking at the statistics. Of the 1,009 homicides since 1989, 780 have been African American men. It is the number one cause of death for black males under the age of 55, and that defines it as a public health issue. On top of the violence, it's tracking where the gun came from in the first place. Find out where these guns were going and try to recover them before they were used in the homicide. You know, or a child being shot unintentionally on a corner. Police say the majority of the time the guns have been stolen and not reported missing. Only 226 out of 2,000 something guns reported stolen. That's a system that's flawed. A system Stacy Robinson knows well. When I got shot at 18 year old, I lost uh, my father a few months after I was born to gun violence. I have a son that got killed by gun violence, and I have a son that's doing life sentence for murder. It's a cycle that he says can only be fixed by. We got to have people providing hope, something tangible, vocational training, education. This panel, now a chapter in the Guns Down movement. Each person using their different background to understand the cause and effect of illegal guns circulating in the community. There are more conversations that we have beyond gun violence because this conversation is beyond the bullet. In Norfolk, Aaron Miller, News 3.